Hi, I'm Dipankar Ghosh. Uh, I'm the strategic manager for environmental and food safety with Thermo Fisher Scientific. And I'm here uh, at the ASMS conference in Salt Lake City, Utah. And I'd like to talk to you about a, an assay we have developed for the analysis of 510 pesticides using the UHPLC executive platform. The reason for developing this, this poster was this, that uh, we're finding that the number of contaminants which we are being asked to detect in both food uh, safety systems, in food matrices, as well as environmental and drinking water supplies, uh, the number of contaminants are going up and therefore regulatory agencies are uh, making the detection limits more and more stringent. Therefore, we needed to develop a fast and accurate uh, LCMS method for the detection of these compounds, uh, both in terms of qualitative screening, as well as being able to meet these strict detection limits. Now, typically in the past, uh, analysts used either GCMS or LCMS and the triple quadruple platform for doing targeted assays, uh, knowing full well exactly the components they needed to identify and quantify. But because more and more unknown contaminants are creeping into our food chain, what we need now is an ability to be able to detect the targeted list as well as uh, potential new contaminants which may be found. Therefore, the assay must be able to cover targeted as well as non-targeted screening. And the executive uh, Orbitrap uh, platform is an ideal instrument for this because it operates in high resolution mode and it has extreme high mass accuracy. Typically we can achieve mass accuracies to less than 2 ppm. And here what we have is an example of uh, 60 of these pesticides, a snapshot of the 510. And I'll just take you through what we're displaying here. On the left here, we have the list of the compounds in alphabetical order from ametrine down to warfarin. Uh, the elemental formula is given here as well as the polarity of the instrument which is being used to detect or ionize these compounds either in positive or negative electrospray. Uh, the theoretical mass is given followed by the experimental mass and the mass accuracy in parts per million. We have given the retention time for each of these compounds. In addition, the LOQ, the limit of quantitation for each of these is given, which ranges around the one PPB per billion mark, as well as the quant, quant statistics. The, the, only the R squared values are shown here. Now, I mentioned earlier that um, some compounds ionize better in positive, of course, and some compounds ionize better in negative. Therefore, it is essential for the instrument to be able to do fast polarity switching between, between positive and negative uh, modes. So here, this graph shows an example of this. The executive is able to switch between positive and negative polarities very rapidly. And on the left, we have a compound being detected uh, in positive and on the right in the same scan we have another pesticide being detected in negative electrospray motor. So we'll now move over to some results and the figure here shows uh, again a snapshot of, of the analytes we looked at uh, specifically in positive electrospray mode the detection limits range from 1 to 250 ppb and on the right hand side if you look closely you'll find the linearities for each of these. Similarly this figure here shows a selection of pesticides in negative electrospray mode. Again detection uh, the limits of detection is at 1 ppb and the range the dynamic range is between 1 to 250 ppb and on the right hand side here um, we have the linearities for each of these uh, compounds as well. So in summary, we have developed a very fast uh, and uh, unique um, HPLC method using uh, the Axela 1250 pump, which is our UHPLC product coupled to the Xactive Benchtop Orbitrap platform. The total analytical runtime was 12 minutes for the detection of 510 pesticides. We um, initially screened this qualitatively using the high resolution accurate uh, mass power of the executive followed by quantitation of each of these pesticides. If you'd like to find out more about this work, please visit us at www.thermoscientific.com.
facebook.com forward slash ASMS. Similarly, uh, we also have an application note written for this which gives uh, the full experimental procedure in much more details than is given in the poster and that can be downloaded from our website again at www.thermoscientific.com. Thank you.